Samantha Carlson of Mandatory Fun Outdoors loves being outside. She also loves sharing that passion with others. Recently, she connected the dots and created a way to get military families out on a winter adventure in the woods north of Park Rapids, Minnesota. Well, I got a hold of uh, Smoky Hills Outdoor Store in Park Rapids and I wanted to uh, do a half a day of dog sledding and a half a day fishing. So when I talked to them, they mentioned that they also know of a dog sled team that they sponsor. So they're the ones that got me in touch with Two North uh, Dog Sled. And, and as soon as I called them, we just, we just clicked and everything was a go from there, so. The morning started off crisp and cold with a dusting of the night's fresh fallen snow. The dog's yips and barks were chaotic and loud. However, the energy was contagious. I'm excited. I like the dog. <laughs> as soon as we had liftoff, the chaos went calm. Yeah, it all depends on the dog, like some of them retire at different ages just because of their body or what they want to do or... Uh, the morning uh, was pretty exciting. We, my girls love dogs and we'd never been dog sledding before. And so I think it was going to be a new experience for all of us and it was uh, exciting, fresh snow. It was fun. It was like a little like adrenaline rush at first and it was like ice and snow in my face and then it ended up just being smooth. This is like calming to like be away from like all like the commotion, like busyness of like the cities and the towns. It's funny, it's like I work at a summer camp over the summer, so it's just it's just nice to be in that like element again. I've loved dogs since I don't even remember when. And seeing the dogs like get all like wild up to like start going, it was pretty fun. Yeah, so I've never been dog sledding before. Um and nor of nor is my wife Katie, um, nor of my kids and so just a really interesting experience, kind of a cross between like riding a snowmobile and cross country skiing. It's um, just absolutely silent and peaceful as you go through the woods. Um, but at the same time, you have the energy of the dogs that, that's there, you know, pulling you along. So it's just a really interesting mix between a serene North Minnesota uh, winter experience and, and the you know, veracity of the sled dogs just pulling you along. It's a great, great time. Interesting to see how the dogs work as a team and the amount of training effort that the, uh, the dog sled owners put into that. I mean, I'm sure it's, you know, for us just coming up here and enjoying it for a morning, it was easy, but I'm sure there's a lot more work behind the scenes. And we actually had to wake up 5.30 in the morning today to feed the dogs, make sure that they were fed before we could come and do the run. It's, it's not like a hobby where like it's bi like bicycling, you just take up or you just put away your bike. This is a full on commitment. You got to feed the dogs morning and night, so it's really a family commitment. I think it's kind of more of a fun thing to do. I'd like to kind of give rides and do that because I kind of enjoy doing that with people, just giving them the opportunity to try dog sledding. Um, I do a lot of racing. I like the racing aspect of it. Something like this allows us to get out and, and, and do something uh, other than, than sit inside. And so uh, we were able to make it work even with little kids, a three-year-old and five-year-old were able to do all of today's events. So. Uh, I truly believe that anybody can do this um, with just a little, a little preparation planning and obviously support of the great team. It was a great experience. I would love to do it again. It was so interesting to learn about their lives and being able to share um, dog sledding with them. It's quite a fun experience and it was very exciting. If you're interested in contacting us or getting sled dog rides or just learning about them, you can either find us on Facebook at True North Sled Dogs. Otherwise. Smoky Hill's my sponsor for the last couple of years for racing. They would know how to get a hold of me if you can't get a hold of me on Facebook. I think it went really good. Everybody was smiling, everybody was having fun. Uh, it's something different that nobody had done before, so that was exciting to have new adventures created and something that they'll talk about for the rest of their lives. American Heroes Outdoors is brought to you by Shields, Smoky Hills Outdoor Store, Gate City Bank, Woodland Resort, Warrior Boats, S&S Promotional Group, Wheeler's Point Resort, Evan Root, 